Hello there, guys. Guys, I want to ask you a question. Is it just me or you also have an affection for tripods? I have a bunch of tripods, either for photography or video, and I just received two new tripods from Leo Photo, their new LS line. Let's take a look at this new line of tripod, the LS, and let's compare it to my favorite line of tripod from Leo Photo that I've been using for the last two years, and that is the LN line. So let's take a look at this new line of tripod from Leo Photo. Hello there guys and welcome once more to another review here with your friend Frank with FS Media. Guys, for the past two years, almost two years, I've been using exclusively Leo Photo tripods for photography. And I have switched a couple of my video tripods to Leo Photo video tripods as well. And the reason for that is very simple. They are not that expensive. Actually, they are not expensive at all if you compare all of the features that they give you. And at the same time, they offer you really good features and a really good value and quality. So Leo Photo now released a new line of tripod. For the past two years, I've been using the LN line, and that's the line, the tripod that I have here. This, for example, is the LN254 CT. As you see, it's already bent up, and I use it in every trip I have done because this is a very sturdy, really uh, tall tripod, and it's also very lightweight. This is my main tribal tripod. Also, the LN line comes with this detachable leg, which I love because I just need to put a spike at the bottom and I just use it as a regular video monopod. Also, when I have something uh, uh, heavier to carry around with photography, I use the 284 line. Actually, this line is the, this model is the one that I use the less because the one that I'm using for my camera, which is the 324, is the one that I use with my heavy lenses and my heavy rig when I'm doing photography. But if I'm doing, uh, I'm sorry, video. But if I'm doing photography with a long lens, I'm using also the tripod. That between these three tripods, let me put this here on the floor. Between the 254 and the 324, I use them for 80% of all of my work. Now I have another LN line, and it's the LN 404C, which is their tallest and their heaviest tripod, and that carry a lot of weight. That carry up to 40 pounds. I have put uh, a heavy weight Manfrotto head in there, the 509, I believe is the model, and also a couple of Miller, Miller heads for video and using my full rigs with my, with my Ursa Mini and the tripod handle it very well. Now, what about if you need a lighter tripod? Well, that's where the LS line comes alive. And this is the very new line. And let me show you, the back is different, as you see here. We got now kind of like a greenish gray back. The quality of the back is even better than before. The back has these carry straps, which the quality is amazing, really good in here. And also you have this strap here that if you don't want to use this long strap, if you want to save a space away, you use it through here. Now here what I have, let me get this out of the way as well. Let me put in here. Here I have two tripods and here I have the 284, the LS 284 and the LS 2, uh, 324. And we're gonna compare those to the actual ones that I have. Now coming into the back as regular Leo photo bags, really good quality as I said. We open it here. The zippers are not YKK, but they are good quality. And when you open it, inside here, this is the 284 model, and I've been using it already. And you can see how small this thing is. I'm gonna take my previous 284 LM, which is this one, so you can see the difference. I mean, the tripod is about three-thirds of the size, and the weight is almost about the same. But let's take a look at the features of that tripod. Let me put that in here. As I say, this is the LS new line of tripod, and I'm gonna show you right now, as soon as I get this thing out. The idea on this new tripod is to make a, a streamline, a strip of tripod, without a lot of the features that we come to know from Leo Photo, like the detachable leg for use as a monopod, and also the center column. As you see, 
in this tripod, we don't have a center column and there is no way that you can put a center column in here. And the reason is because your photo now gives us this flat base here for us to use. There is no way you can put a center column. This 284 model, if I'm not making a mistake, this is the 284, is a smaller even than my 254, which was their previous lighter and a smaller tripod. As you can see here, this is the 254 and this is the 284. This tripod holds or very, uh, uh, can carry more weight than this tripod and yet is lighter and smaller. How they do that? Very simple. On the LN model, you got the center column. Does it have to add this system in here for the center column to go up and down? Now, on the LS, they took the center column away and they leave you without that option. But that gives you more versatility because now you have a center base, a flat base for you to put many different kinds of ball heads in there. They also give us a couple of new features. And one of them is right here on the head. As you see, I'm gonna use this mechanical pen. As you see, we got the regular 3 8 uh, uh, screw in there. But what about the quarter 20? There is no way for you to switch it or to change it like in the other models. Well, what they have invented or they have applied is a very clever system. It is a, a spring loading mechanism that allows for the 3 8 to go down and revealing a quarter, uh, quarter 20 thread uh, screw in there. Very clever, very nice. It has a spring loading mechanism. When the smaller heads that use quarter 20 or any accessory that use quarter 20, pressure on this, put pressure, that the 3 8 goes down, just revealing and allowing you to use this quarter 20 thread. That is a really nice uh, feature. Another nice feature that they have put on this new tripod is this quarter 20 thread in here because now they give you this little hook and this adapter which is a quarter 20 system that you put it in there and then allows you for you to use this carving style hook for you to put your bag your camera bag or whatever system that you want to use or whatever accessory that you want to use i should say and personally i put my bag my small camera bag here so it will give me more stability at the same time here in the center and the bottom of the tripod we got that same system and that works really nice now another feature that they have implemented is that when you take your legs to clean it before in the other system we have these uh, pieces of plastic or metal in some places this is a very great good metal uh, piece which are called sheens so they allows you for you to put in the exact position and to carry in the exact way the leg inside the bigger legs. Now, this one is included in the leg and you cannot take it out unless you really want to take it out. Now, that is a really, really nice feature because personally, I lose that kind of stuff all the time. So that also gives you more stability and it gives you better performance on your legs when you try to clean them. Now, some of the information about a specific part of this tripod, I'm going to put it here on the screen. They also feature the, their removable feet here that you just lose it and you change your feet. And this, remember, this is the smaller version, the 284. I believe they have a 254 version. Now, let's take a look at the other tripod in here, which is the, uh, the 324. Okay, but before I do that, I want to show you this that came with the 284. And this is an extension tube. And as you see here, you extend it and it give you about 18 inches of extra reach. So if you have the 284 tripod in here and it is not enough for you, what you do is that you carry this with you, you screw it in there, and now you have about 18 inches of extra reach. Me personally, I will not use this a lot because my main style of photography, if it is not portrait or event where you don't use a tripod, it is long exposure photography for uh, panoramics and also for landscape or cityscape photography. 
I do a lot of HDR and a lot of combining several exposures. So I will not use this me personally because the type of photography that I do the most, which is landscape, long exposure photography, doesn't require you to have this whole extended thing, which it gives me less stability. But if you do regular photography that you just want to clip, even going to 1 1 25th of a second, this is perfect for you. And of course, guys, revise uh, or check the amount of weight that you have on your equipment and compare if this tripod is good for you. For example, this tripod has a all aluminum frame, which all of the parts, and it's also 10 layers carbon fiber legs, which give you a lot of st stability. The legs support up to 10 kilograms, and that is a lot. And even using this thing in here, it gives you 10 kilograms. Now, you have to have in consideration that your ball head, your camera, your lens, and everything adds on. That is combined 10 kilograms. Now, the 324, which is the one that I want to show you now, it holds up to 15 kilograms. Let's open this back so you can see the other tripod as well. Okay, same story here, same exact bag. Actually, these bags, I believe they are way bigger than what they need to be. And inside this bag, we don't have the extended tube because it is not intended for this model because this model goes as high, higher than the other model, than the 284 with extension tube. So, this is a lot thicker, the legs. This also goes higher, but this tripod holds up to 15 kilograms. And that is really good. And it features the same exact system here that when you press the 3.8 uh, uh, screw, it goes down in highs and reveals the other one. It also gives you the uh, quarter 20 on the side and also at the bottom. And it also gives you the same system on the legs. Also, something that I forgot to mention is that they're using now a new system where you pull this up and when you go to the maximum top uh, level and you start bringing it down, they will close automatically. Before, they close automatically, but let me see which is the model. The 254 is here. This is the LN. So if you want to bring it to the, to the highest level of angle, you have to keep this press and then it will auto adjust. As you see here, it doesn't go up. So you have to keep it pressed all the time and then you work it out. Now, with this new system, you just pull it. Sorry, I need to close this a little bit. You pull it and you can go to the highest level and start working it out. That is really good because sometimes it's a lot simpler just to do that. Personally, to me, this is the perfect middle level tripod. It goes really high. It supports 15 kilograms of weight. That is amazing. And this thing is really lightweight and it's really, really small. I'm going to compare this to the 284 and this tripod holds more than this tripod. This is the 284 and look at the difference on the side. It's just amazing. And this is like half the weight of this tripod, which is, this is amazing. I mean, I just can't believe how they did all this weight saving just by sharing things that sometimes you really don't need. Now, what comes inside the bag? Okay, very quick here, guys. I wanna show you everything that comes inside that little bag or that little zipper pocket inside the tripod bag. And what we have here is this little brochure, which is the six year warranty brochure that I give you. We have this keychain, which also give you those Allen keys in there that you can use for you to tie the legs out and also give you this tip, this metal tip in here, which allows you for you to tie the bottom of the plate for the uh, camera plate to your, uh, to your camera. That is a really nice feature and I love it. You can use it as a hook in here so you can uh, hold it from everywhere, even in your backpack. I always have one of these on my backpack. They also give you four different Allen keys. And these Allen keys are meant for you to give the uh, maintenance to your tripod. We got two bigger one, a middle one, and a smaller one. So for Allen keys, we also have the carving or carving uh, uh, hook in here with this quarter 20 thread adapter. So you can put it at the bottom or you can put it on the side of the tripod like I just showed you. We also have the metal spikes 
They are really, really good quality, these metal spikes, and they give you three of these, and that's including all Leo Photo tripods. And then only in the 284 series, in the 284 line of the LS series, they give you the extension tube for you to be able to get better reach with the smaller or the shorter tripod. It goes about 18 inches uh, higher, but this is not included on the other tripod, on the 324 LS or bigger tripod. That is only included up to this point on the LS-284 tripod, so keep that in mind. But on the website, they have all of the information that you might need uh, for you before you make a decision on which model is the right one for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give us a thumbs up if you believe that you like this video. And if you don't like it, you know what to do. Until next time, my name is Frank. See you later.